All right, guys, now we're going to talk about another type of actions. We have the highlight. The highlight is very similar to the filters where the user is going to interact with the source sheets. And in the target sheet, we're going to focus on a subset of data that we selected from the source. But the main difference here is that the unrelevant data will not be filtered out. The all the data going to be exist in the target sheet, but only what we are selecting going to be highlighted in the target sheets. And the best way in order to understand the highlight action is to have a dashboard with two worksheets. So now let's go and create a highlight action. As usual, we're going to go to the main menu over here, but this time we're going to go to the dashboard. Then let's go to the actions and let's add a new action. So we're going to go over here, add an action, and then we're going to pick this time the highlight. As usual, we have to define the source, the trigger, and the target sheets. So let's go and give it a name. It's going to be highlight profit insight and then the source is going to be our sales so i'm just going to remove the profit from here and the best way to work or to trigger a highlight is to have a hover so i'm just going to run this action on the hover and then the target going to be our profit insight so i'm just going to remove the sales insights and then here we have some options to define which fields going to be included in the interaction as a default it's going to be all the fields or dates and time and then the last option you have selected fields so you can specify which field going to be included in the action i'm gonna stay with the default all fields so with that we have everything let's go and hit ok and with that we got as well our action let's hit ok again so now let's go and test the action let's go to the source sheet the trigger gonna be mouse hover so now as i'm mouse hovering on those informations you can see that tableau is reacting in the target sheet and focusing on the data that i'm like mouse hovering so if i stay on the storage here with my mouse you can see that tableau is focusing on the storage in the target sheet and you have like a highlighter with the yellow color so as you can see it's really nice right it adds like more interactivity more dynamic to your views as the users are interacting with the worksheets another worksheet is getting highlighted so it's really nice and now you might say you know what i would like to have the same effect in the profit insights so as i'm mouse hovering on those data i would like to have highlights in the source in the sales insights so both of those reports or those worksheets gonna highlight each others in order to do that it's really simple let's go to the main menu again to the dashboards actions and let's go to the highlight action and then let's include everything in the source sheets and as well everything in the target sheets with that all those worksheets can highlight each others so let's go and hit okay and then again okay and let's check so now as you can see as a mouse hovering on the profit insights the highlights gonna be in the sales and the vice versa as i'm moving on the sales you can see the highlights gonna be on the profits so now the mouse hover gonna highlight both of the worksheets all right guys so now generally speaking about the highlights in tableau there are different options where we can add highlights or control the highlight option for example if you go to the quick menu over here you can see that we have an option to edit the highlights so if you go over here you can see that we can disable the highlights we can enable it we can define which fields gonna be included in the highlights so for example if i go over here and say okay disable workbook highlights what's gonna happen is that the highlight action gonna be disabled in order to enable it we're gonna go again to the quick action over here and enable the workbook highlights so as you can see now i can highlight on those stuffs and in tableau we can add highlights to the worksheets or to the dashboards if you go to the main menu to the analyzes and then here we have highlighters if you go over here we have the subcategory since it is the only dimension that we have in this dashboard or on those worksheets so let's go and click on that now if you check the right side we got something like a filter but it's not really a filter it is a highlighter so if you click on this box over here you will get a list of all these things values values inside the subcategory so now what you can do you can just mouse hover on those formations and as you can see the dashboard is going to be highlighted so this is another way to trigger the action highlights inside your dashboards or worksheets by adding the highlighter on the right side so for example if i just go and click on that it's going to stay highlighted whole time since we have selected this value over here and of course, if you want to get everything back to the normal, you can go over here, click on the X and remove the value. With that, we got everything back without highlights. All right, guys. So that's all about highlights actions in Tableau. All right. So that's all about the action highlights. And next, we're going to learn how to use actions in order to change the members of sets.